It's gonna be another fun and cold day, but I'm ready for it. Double, triple, sure, all the time. All right. I gotta shovel the driveway. Yikes. I'm getting behind on my duties here. Minus 29 on this beautiful, beautiful morning. What is it, Thursday? Beautiful Thursday morning? Oh, what do we got going on over here? Uh-oh. Oh, we got someone giving him a tug. No, oh, oh, no, what's going on here? Something happened. Something happened. Oh, is the GM rescuing the Dodge? Oh. Oh yeah, go show off. You got a Subaru, all wheel drive. We're very impressed, very impressed. Oh, now the other one's purple. I'm pretty sure it was that one that was purple last time. <laughs> replace that one just for the other one to go. Or was it that one? And they just haven't replaced that one. I wonder if they're not gonna replace it then? Ah, oh, I got these street lights going purple all over the place. Ooh boy, it is minus 32 out now. It's gotten colder since we got to work. You know, the sun's starting to come up. You'd think it'd be getting warmer. No, this is Manitoba. It's getting colder. Okay, so it's gonna be a good day as long as this old girl decides to help us out and start. Let's go give it a shot. All right, we just checked the oil and everything under the hood. It's all good. Come on, she was plugged in, so. Yes. Ready? Minus 32, cold start. Yeah. Beautiful. Now let's make sure that it's building up air. The air tanks are empty right now. I need them to start filling up. Trucks had problems in the cold, uh, not building air pressure. Hoping that's not going to be a problem today. I'll let you know. I'm not seeing the needles move yet. Oh, there we go. Yes! Needles moving. We're building air. Nice! Oh, it's going to be a good day. Oh, it's going to be a good day. Awesome. Look at that. It's going to fill up the secondary air first and then the primary air after that. I don't know why. It's just the way it does it. Wonderful. Today's mission requires a flatbed. That's a step deck. We don't want a step. We want a flat. I saw one over here, I think. I was just hoping to find a better one. And this one has someone's stuff on it still. That was the one I wanted, but it's got someone's stuff on it. So I'm going to leave it. Someone might be saving it. That one's fully loaded with snow. I need an empty one, not a loaded one. How about this, this, that's got something on it. I'm pretty sure I saw a flat right here. Aha! There she is. Only got a partial load of snow on her. We'll just quickly unload that before we go. And we'll have a nice empty flatbed for us. I'm gonna go load it up with stuff and bring it somewhere. Someone in Winnipeg wants some stuff. And that stuff is also in Winnipeg. It's just on the other side of Winnipeg. So it's a short trip today. <sighs> this, these trailers actually aren't that bad. They're just not the new fancy ones. But that's okay. They're the old fancy ones, right? That's okay. They work just as good. They're better in some ways, actually. Come on, come here. Come here, come here. Are you locked in? You locked in? You're not locked in. Hey! Give me my trailer. There you go. Didn't want to lock in for me right away, is there? Mm, cranky. No one wants to be awake in this cold weather. Not even the equipment. But well, that's okay, we gotta get her done anyways. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter that it's cold. There's work to do. Are we locked in? Uh, no, no, we're not fully locked in yet. I don't like that. 
One second, what's going on here? Yeah, we're not fully locked in yet. I don't like that. Okay, we're gonna go and uh, we're gonna go and try that again. Pull this out. Ah. Uh, I'm gonna have to mess around with this. Where's my bar? There, oh, there's one, there's two. There you are, that's the one I was looking for. Whew. Hi, hi, there you are. Yeah, see we're gonna unlock it, we're gonna try clicking it in again. Leave that here for now so we can grab it if we need it again. Uh, wasn't fully locked in. And you don't want to mess around with that because if you don't get fully locked in, you're going to lose your trailer. Let's see if that works. For a bit of a harder love tap there. You don't want to go too hard, okay? You don't want to break stuff, but sometimes it just needs a little bit of a love tap. Are we locked in? Yeah, it looks like it. it. Looks like we're fully locked in now. I think. Looking at those pins. Yeah, we're locked. Okay. Always check. Always check, especially in the cold weather. Cold weather messes with everything. You can't let it mess with your brain, though. Still got to use your brain. You don't want to lose a trailer on the highway. Get somebody killed. That's a big no-no, highly frowned upon, highly. All these landing gear are all frozen, all the grease in there is all. Get a good workout in the morning, rolling up the gear. Okay, okay. I guess this is for this. Actually, what is that doing there? That goes there. There we go. Whew. Oh. Oh, so much snow. So much snow. You know what they say about lots of snow, right? Lots of fun. Okay. Just give my face a minute just to thaw out a little bit. Fill the trailer with air in the meantime. What a wonderful day. It's a great day to be trucking. You know what, these are the days when you go home at the end of the day after getting something done, getting your work done, and you feel really good about yourself. You feel like you really got something done. Because not everybody likes working out in the cold like this. I mean, let's be honest, nobody likes working out in the cold like this. But if you get the job done, despite the cold, it makes you feel real good at the end of the day. Who cares if it's minus 32 outside? We got work to do. We're gonna get it done. Gotta keep telling myself that. <laughs> it's harder than it looks. Easier said than done. But it's gonna be a good day. Change of plans. I just got this trailer sweeped off or swept off and just went around the corner, started booking it down the highway to my pickup. And I got the phone call saying, hey, turn around, come back. Okay. So whoever grabs this trailer next, it's nicely shoveled off for you. You're welcome. I don't need it. I got to grab a, a roll tight and go pick up a couple of forklifts in town. I don't know what's going on, but the plans got changed. Remember, what are we? Truckers. What is this? Trucking. <laughs> Plans change. 
Oh, I gotta roll these things back down now. Oh yeah, I get another workout. Two workouts this morning. It's good for me. It's good for me. Just keep telling myself, it's good for me. <laughs> but really, I don't mind. Uh, this load I'm gonna go pick up now instead is actually gonna be a lot simpler to deal with than the mess I was gonna put on here and bring across the city. It was gonna be uh, one of those loads that were uh, aluminum and you gotta be very careful not to bend it and it's very fragile and it shifts around easy. You gotta make sure it doesn't shift and I'll go pick up a couple of forklifts and a roll tight instead. That sounds good to me. <laughs> not gonna complain about that one. we go well 507 I appreciate your willingness to work with me today but you can go back to sleep now I know I took your nice snow blanket off of you you might be a little cold now but you just have to deal with it you're a Manitoba trailer you're a Manitoba plates that means you can deal with the cold where's my oh there it is yeah Pull this pin out, just like that. Now the trailer is unlocked. We went through all of that work to make sure she was locked on. Now I gotta make sure she's unlocked and <laughs> go do it again on another trailer. All right. Ah, oh, this is fun. I'm not even joking, I like trucking. I don't care what I'm doing. As long as I'm trucking, I'm a happy camper. Can't see up my back window. I need to clean that thing. Oh, trucker Josh, what are you doing? Gotta watch in the mirror there, make sure that it's okay. Oh, oh, they adjusted my clutch again. Gotta get used to it. And we're free. Okay, good. Yeah, last week or on the weekend, they took my truck in, did a little bit of work to it. It had a little bit of a coolant leak somewhere. Must have been dripping out. There was a radiator hose that just had to be tightened up. It was way underneath in there, so they probably had to take it all apart to get to it. But they figured it out, like they always do. And uh, they adjusted my clutch while it was in there. So my clutch went from grabbing at the top to like grabbing one inch off the bottom. So you <laughs> gotta get used to it. Six, seven, one, two, eight, roll tight. Got my eyes on you right there. You green, beautiful beast. Six, seven, one, two, eight. That's mine right there. Oh, we're gonna have fun. We're gonna pick up some forklifts. That's a nice little skid steer up there, eh? Nice Kubota skid steer. I could use that. Wonder where it's going. It's not going to my property, unfortunately. I wish it was. Back her up. Back her up. Back her up. Can't see out the back window because I haven't cleaned it. I gotta back up like a real trucker now using my mirrors. Oh. 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 Oh, that was gentle. Nice. Are we locked in? Ah! Nice. I didn't even feel it. Yeah, we're definitely locked in. Ha <laughs> ha! That made my day. So, first thing, let's just make sure we're locked in. Looks locked in. Locked in, okay. We'll do a tug test before we leave yet, just to be sure. Uh, let's make sure she's empty. Okay, I'm just gonna clean those up before I go yet. That should be, uh, those should be on the, uh, in the box on the side, not in here. <laughs> here I'll uh, have to take them all out there. Got those all ready to go underneath into the toolbox where they should be. This here, I'm gonna have to adjust. That is supposed to be pinned in there, not loose like that. I'll do that from the outside. Tarp strap here. 
So before you leave with the trailer, you want to make sure it's all good. Ready to go, right? That's what we're doing. On the North Perimeter Highway, on the north side of Winnipeg, if you're familiar with the city. If you're not, Winnipeg is in the heart of North America. It's right in the center of the continent. Center of Canada, right in the middle. Manitoba is the forgotten province, so I'll forgive you for never hearing about us. That's okay, there's not very many people here, and we kind of like it that way. It's quiet, you know? It's cold, it's quiet. But it's home. So, going around the north side here, I'm facing westbound right now. I'm gonna go down into the city right over there. And, uh, like I was saying, pick up two forklifts. I've got a 53 foot flat roll tight behind me. We're gonna throw her in there, tie her down. Bring her back to the yard. Somebody is gonna hook up onto them and pull them on down to Ohio. Somebody in Ohio is in need of some forklifts that we have up here. So we're gonna do the right thing and bring them on down there for them. It's not much use to them way up here, right? So we'll bring them over there so they can make use of them. That's how I see it anyway. We got a lot of snow this winter, which is nice. We got a good amount of snow. Not too much, but enough to keep the snowmobilers happy and the the, you know, the snow enthusiasts, the cross-country skiers, the tobogganers, whatever you do in the wintertime. I could care less for the snow at this point. I don't own a snowmobile. I wish I did. I did when I was, uh, when I was younger. Well, I guess my parents did, but I, I rode it. <laughs> I wouldn't mind having one. They're a lot of fun, but since I don't have one, after Christmas and New Year's Eve and New Year's Day, I have absolutely no use for all this white stuff. I have no use for it at all. It's only good for Christmas, because you have to have a white Christmas, right? Christmas isn't Christmas without snow, in my mind. It just wouldn't be right. But I'm done with it now. It can now go away. Thank you very much. We have uh, the last two weeks of January ahead of us here. We're, we're in them right now. And the first two weeks of February. Those are the coldest weeks of the year. We're gonna get through these couple of weeks and we'll be on the bottom of the hill going down towards spring. And before you know it, it'll be truck show season again. Summertime. And that means we gotta get the pressure washer out. Start keeping things clean again. Sometimes I wonder about people's mental health out here on the road. Sometimes I'm a little bit worried. <laughs> Every now and then you run into someone who's just like excessively angry at the world for no reason. And you know, it's easy to sort of just shake your head at them and uh, you know, say whatever you want to say about them in the safety of your vehicle. But you got to wonder like, what's, what's going on? What's going on to make them wake up and want to be just a mean person to other people, you know? Like, does it make them feel stronger, bigger, better? I don't think so. I think they're lashing out because of something going on in their life. They're not happy. And sometimes those circumstances are out of their control. I gotta get across this road here. I don't think it's gonna happen. I can hardly see the traffic coming on that side because of the snow banks. And this side, after this little cluster of vehicles, I may be able to get across here. Everybody's moving so slowly, which is probably better because the, the roads are ice. This guy's turning. I think I'll be able to stick my nose in here. I hate doing this though, because then I got to block the traffic, eh? And no, I'm not going to do it because that, that way has to be clear too. Otherwise, I'm blocking all of these people. Hey, look, we got a Mountie. Never seen that guy there before. Ha! The Queen's Guard. Guess that wasn't a Mountie, that was the Queen's Guard, sorry. It's got the big hat. I think there's a difference.
that sun feels really good coming through the window onto my face. Just outside this glass is certain death. It's very cold. But since the glass is here, all I get is the heat through the glass. It feels really nice. Feels like a nice summer day. Tomorrow I gotta go pick up one of our trailers from the trailer shop again. One of our roll tights that got fixed up. And uh, take that up to Toulon and load some freight. Uh, some freight's going to New York. Some freight's going to... Uh, some freight's going to somewhere else. I forget where right now. But I gotta pick that up, bring it back here. That'll be our morning assignment tomorrow. Once we get here, get the truck warmed up. It's supposed to be a warmer day tomorrow, I think. I'll check the, double check the forecast. We can actually do that right now. Why not? Let's do it together. It is a really cold day today. Oh yeah! High of minus five tomorrow. Nice! That's, oh, but it's gonna snow. 94% chance of snow. Oh, with a blowing snow advisory. You just can't win. It's either really cold and nice clear skies, or it's nice and warm and there's a blizzard. Manitoba. There's some reason that uh, people live here. We haven't figured it out yet. I can't figure out why people move here. I mean, our slogan is, hey, welcome to Manitoba. We were born here. What's your excuse? Who would move here? <laughs> it's cold, it's blizzarding, summertime is hot, there's mosquitoes. It's just extreme as well. But one good thing about Manitoba, so that I don't just keep ragging on my own home province all the time. One good thing about Manitoba, practically zero natural disasters and zero poisonous predators. I can go walking through the bush here and not worry about anything, except black bears and wolves. I'm not really scared of them because they, they're more scared of me than I am of them. They avoid me. We have a few cougars, out in the woods I mean, those cougars. We have a few a few wild cougar cats out there. Those ones I'm a little more worried about because they see me, I don't see them. Oh yeah, that, that's uh, I got the fan blowing in here, blowing cold air in the cab. That's why I'm cold. <laughs> there we go. Silence, now I don't have to yell at you guys. Yeah, other than that, there's no poisonous snakes, no poisonous spiders. You know, it's a pretty good place. No earthquakes, no, not many tornadoes. Oh, excuse me, it's the end of the day. There's a few tornadoes here. We're at the north end of the Tornado Alley, but we don't get that many. Uh, not as many as like down near Kansas and, and Tornado Alley in the US. Ah, oh, what else is there? We get no hurricanes. We just get really, really cold. And in the summertime, it gets really, really hot. So I guess it's not that bad. Yeah, tomorrow, uh, what does it say? Tomorrow, what's tomorrow? Tomorrow's Friday. Yes! Snow showers before midnight, becoming partly cloudy later. Low around minus 25 Celsius. Winds northwest at 15 to 30 kilometers an hour. Chance of snow, 60%. Well, then why did the other page tell me it was 94% chance? Make up your mind, weatherman. But what's, what, what are snow showers? You mean snow flurries? Showers means that it's raining. When I go have a shower, I, I get wet with water. Snow doesn't do that, snow showers. I don't know what's going on anymore. What is this? What world do I live in? Snow showers. I thought it I don't know, no one can agree on words these days. Oh, there's words for everything and everybody calls everything something different and there's there's just too many people Everybody's got different ideas. and We're all trying to coexist in the same space All right, okay, the truck is all parked all ready for tomorrow I'm sure she's gonna have a good sleep. I know I am It's time to go home eat some supper would you just look at that? That ball of fire is still above the horizon. And I'm almost halfway home. I'm gonna be commenting on that every day. Cause I'm excited. 
I love seeing daylight hours getting longer. Have I told you yet? I think I told you yesterday. I'm gonna tell you again tomorrow. It's such a good feeling. Summer's on the way. It's so much better than the other one, you know? I wish the daylight hours would just stay the same. But like we were saying last week, you don't appreciate the good without the bad. So we go through these brutal winters, short daylight hours, so that when the sun starts coming back like this, we appreciate it all the more. You'll notice if you ever visit Manitoba, or if you ever move here, or if you ever live here, or if you already live here, you'll notice that in summertime, Manitobans seize the summer. Everybody is out and about at the beach, going camping, hiking, anything to do with outdoors, even if it's just sitting in your backyard, barbecuing. Whatever it is, it's outside. Manitobans truly know how to appreciate the summer. I'm not just saying that because I live here. I'm just saying that because you notice it. Everyone hibernates through the winter, right? We were talking about this the other day too. You don't see many people out and around on, in the wintertime. You forget everyone exists because they're all like hiding in their houses after work. But in summertime, oh, we got festivals and, and fairs and carnivals and all the other fun summer things. Truck shows. I'm looking forward to all of them. 